Hi there! I figured I'd just make a short video to show you how to test a relay using an octopus or a curve tracing oscilloscope. So this little board I've got down here is a relay pulser. I created years ago when I was testing boards with hundreds and hundreds of relays in them. I guess I still occasionally do, but not that often. So you can see, you can hear the relay clicking on and off in the background. That's attached to this FET here, and uh, you can see the, the center LED corresponds with the pulse. It's at about a 50% duty cycle. These two outer FETs here are designed to test latching relays. So one pulse latches the relay, another pulse delatches the relay. So those are kind of special relays, but that's what these two guys do. So as you can see, I've just got it hooked to the center FET, and it's pulsing this relay. What I've got up here is a curve tracing oscilloscope, or like an octopus, you can look that up online. Just type in oscilloscope octopus and there's, it'll show you how to make one of these things relatively simple. This one's a little bit more technical. It uses op amps and a precision oscillator, but um, pretty much the, uh, the same kind of theory. So when the line here is horizontal, the relay's open. And when the line is vertical, the relay's closed. So you can see it's pulsing and it's looking pretty good. Not much contact resistance or switch bounce. Now if we speed this up, if I dim the screen out here just a little bit. Get it to dim out on me here. Okay, we can see the screen here. I'll turn this up. And you can see this kind of distortion that you're seeing here in here, okay, that is uh, switch bounce or contact resistance as the, um, the contacts are closing and opening. So this relay is relatively stable. This is much faster than this relay here is ever going to work. Much, much faster. So this relay is actually performing pretty well. And that's pretty much how you test a relay using an octopus. These are really handy for looking at switch bounce. If you have a lot of switches and you need to test them and they're sticking or you got bounce in some switches, these are really show the bounce. If I get right into the screen here, you can see. You know, you can really see on the uh, axis here, you can really see the contact resistance showing up. Again, this is moving much faster than it ever will in real time but it gives you an idea of what you'll see. Now I'll try and hook up a faulty relay of the same sort and I'll show you how that'll look and its different problems. Here we have a relay that's got a lot of contact resistance and it even looks like the mechanism inside of the relay itself is sticky. So you can see that by the movement on this axis here twisting. You can tell that there's quite a bit of contact resistance in there. And it looks like there is some delay in the switching. You can see it really bad there. So this is a relay that we wouldn't want in service. This would be causing lots of grief. Okay, hope you enjoyed.